and welcome to my special edition episode of Science with Bexy. This is an explanation episode of Ken's demonstration over at Kig's Fun Science. He does a pretty cool trick with Pringles, so make sure you head over there and watch that video first, and then come back here for the science behind the trick. So, if you've done that, you'll have seen that Ken stacked Pringles in a complete circle without them falling. Ah! The Pringles just held their own and created a complete circle without Ken using glue. And no, it wasn't magic. It was physics! They were balanced just by their interacting forces on each other. You saw him start with a strong base. Very good form there, Ken. Great shout. Now, the Pringles can stand up and balance due to two reasons. Their centre of mass and friction. So the centre of mass of an object is the point at which the distribution of mass is equal in all directions. For this trick to work, when you're building the circle, the centre of mass of one Pringle cannot be exceeded by the previous Pringle's edge. This is the way it will stay up. It's all a balancing game. To help demonstrate what I mean here, here's an example of me trying to balance a 30 centimeter ruler on the edge of a table. This 30 centimeter ruler's center of mass will be at 15 centimeters. If I want to hang the ruler off the table with the edge poking out, I can't place it any further than the ruler's center of mass. So I have to have half or less of the ruler hanging off the table in order for it to balance and stay upright. Make sense? No! Back to the Pringles! Because they're curved, when gravity pushes down on them, the Pringles just start sliding down the edge. Ah! So, if you don't want the Pringles to slide, then you have to apply enough frictional force to the side of them to counteract gravity so that they can't fall down. Like, if I wanted to stop this ruler from sliding down the wall, I would have to create enough frictional force against it to stop gravity from pulling it down. So I would push against it like this. Boom! I'm beating gravity at its own game. So, it's not falling down anymore because there's a force, friction, holding it up. So even though I'm pushing it against the wall, the only force holding the ruler up is the friction from the wall. The same thing happens to the Pringles when they start curving higher and reaching the vertical part of the circle. You have to get enough Pringles pushed against the side of each other to create enough friction to stop them from sliding down. And it does help that they're a bit rough around the edges. Well, not their edges, but their surfaces are pretty rough, which helps create more friction. Woohoo! And the last trick you saw Ken do was calculate the Pringles' radius of curvature. So, because a Pringle is curved, I mean, its technical name is hyperbolic paraboloid, but this means you can still measure its radius. You saw Ken measure the diameter of the full circle. I mean, it wasn't a perfect circle, so it's not going to be exactly correct, but definitely close enough. He calculated the diameter to be about 11 centimetres, which means that the radius of curvature of a Pringle is half of that, so about five and a half centimetres. Thank you for listening, and thanks to Ken at Kids Fun Science for collaborating. It has been super fun. Please make sure to like and subscribe, so hopefully I can see you around in the future.